produced it and I, I dabble in a lot of magic and we just all have like it's just part of like the whole kind of like, like that answer dose, <laughs> it, it's part of like the whole like kind of like if you know the dose money history and shit right. we were Something new. Studios on the board. S. Doc Carr, the best engineer in the game in the building. Squad. We got a new look. King Marlin in the building. Squad, squad, squad. Oh, and we have a special guest. What's happening, y'all? I'm Go Face Money Watch. Go Face Money, Money Watch. Watch, young the man. Of the Sykes. Hey. And he's back. He's back. Welcome back, bro. Welcome back. As you can see, we are in New Dicks. I am very proud of these upgrades. I got the whole team here for the first time. I don't think we we we, we had sample guy, S. Doc Carter, hey, King so Maul, like all in the room. Yeah, I can't tell. Yeah, I'm not in frame. I'm a little curved off on. Maybe frame. maybe you could tilt the mixer just a little bit. So I see myself. How do we again, we gonna get everybody in frame on live? The text covering you, but you're on there. Too. Yeah, I'm in there. But I see half of Juice. I think. <laughs> As we can, we are multi shotted, camera shotted now. Yeah. I got angles, we got angles. It's angly in this bitch. Go face. Yeah. Would you like to do a top five? You haven't been here in a minute. Yeah. Top five. Yeah, top too. five anything. Top five. Start out with that, dad. Top five. You can do top five shoes, top five foods. You've eaten over uh, the places you've been. I feel like you're a well traveled man. Because look, their top people, five favorite places to perform, it's, it's or your mem- don't know most memorable like, places. Like, to me, right, 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 you're a right, legend, but yeah. this is the first time some people are seeing you. Right, right, and right. this is the first episode of like what season seven? How right. many? I don't know, bro. We I thought there was like eight or nine. Seven? We motherfucking past the syndication stages now. <laughs> they got to give us that friends, <laughs> friends. Man, yeah, they got to. Yeah, they you said two thirteen with TBS nightly. We got to be on a Medea check. But top five anything. They gotta get to know you still. Ooh, so. we need to go to Terry. All right, I'ma do uh we need to go to Tyler Perry. Season, but I'ma just go with my first what's in front of my face. I'm gonna do top five liquors. Uh okay. Jim Beam, number one. Okay. Number two, Tito's vodka. Number three, Casamigos Mezcal. Okay. That's a meat. Oh. But like the like the mezcal though. Yeah, like it's the not smoky the smoky one. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the it's not the one you turn up with. It's the it's a sipper. I, I, shit, no, oh, I drink oh, that shit oh. out the bottle. Like <laughs> you go. This is one of them. It's one of them. Four Seagram's gin mm-hmm. and five. It's called they always tell me like, oh, the bullet, like, but I think it's bouillet bourbon. Like, you feel me? It's another whiskey that's like more if I want like a nicer whiskey. I don't like Jack Daniels all like that or mm-hmm. whatever. But there was a um oh, what was it a called? liquor that we, we used to get and go to parties with called Vox. Yup, big dumbass bottle. Vox was like vodka. Yeah, vodka, but it came in a bottle this big. Mm-hmm. So it was just one of them them things that it was, was just for show. Sure. It, was, it was super. It low didn't low matter. Low. It was just for show. Sure. It was like forty dollars yeah, like, type I, shit. We should have came with four of them bitches for we real. We should have came with we four of them, but we can only afford one of them. Damn, okay. You know, cause like, cause we bought so many bottles, though. No, we right. bought so many bottles. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I'm going to add a six because it's an unsung hero. No, it's just a diluted. Because, you know, in Cleveland, it's, I was just, I put this on my story. To, I put this on my story the other day. Like, in fucking Cleveland, it's hard. Like, we don't really have a lot of liquor stores. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I... The gas station diluted like Kamchatka vodka is like an unsung hero to me because like sometimes I really don't just want beer. You know what I'm saying? I take the water down vodka because that's just water and vodka. You're not adding. No yeah. Beer. Have you ever tried Uncle Nearest? No, uh, I'm not here. Uncle Nearest is the original version of of uh, Jack Daniels. What? So you might like that a little bit better though. Right. Yeah, you might like that a little bit better. Damn. Mm-hmm. The original version. So Jack Daniels was taught how to make liquor by a dude named Uncle. Well, his name was street name was Uncle Nearest, but it was like uh, Neanthal, ne, um, 
Nathan something, something, something. Right. Anyway, him and his family used to live on a farm. Right. Bottom line, making liquor. They taught everybody how to do it. So he was one of the protégés. Oh, he the That's one crazy. took it, put his name out there, and then Jack Daniels first. Now his family came back, and it was like, all right, here's the original recipe. Now you got Uncle Nearest, and I was out. And Jack yeah. Daniels was being yeah. a real one, or the family was being a real one, mm-hmm. and letting them distill and do their thing and be... Like uh, the, basically was, the, the parent company to him. So exactly, yeah. But, but but like some will be like, no, nah, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> like no, whatever it is, like it is what it is. But great to have you back, sir. Hell yeah. I've been, I studied up on the new stuff. Oh yeah. The bad trip page. Yeah. And it's a lot of questions we have for it. A little bit. First of all, I was trying to explain to people why I like you so much as a <laughs> As an artist, and they're like, I don't get it. It's a is he like screamo? Is it like no? It's different because he got bars. You got to really listen to what he's saying. Mm-hmm. It's like no, no, I ain't trying to like no. But you got to. And the older stuff was a probably a lot harder for people newer that that wasn't right, into it. Right, right, right. Okay. Into. But the newer stuff, you're rapping very clearly. Yeah. The beats are still hard. I listened to mm-hmm. uh, what Believe in Magic or, yeah. or, or yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Which shout is out great, Believe. He shout out to Believe because one of my favorite producers in the in the city in the world for real because he's always making hard beats. But the fact that you're I don't say coherent. A lot of it I feel like was freestyling back in the day. It was a lot of you going in there and feeling the vibe of a lot of it. This feeling the vibe, yeah, for sure. But- it depends yeah. what era. Like, I was a big writer at very first, mm. for sure, though. Okay. Like, like, my early shit, even if it sound like that, like, maybe I was, like, vibing on the mic, but i say, like, 2013 to 14, I was a big writer. Big, big, okay. So that was, like, that was like thumb nugget time, right? Oh, and uh, well, that was stretched back earlier to, like, 11 to 13. Like, mm. Okay. 11 to 13, yeah. Yeah. It's very precise. Now. I feel like you're very confident in who you are. And confident yeah, in the ain't no other way it could be for real. Confident mm-hmm. in what you've experienced. Like e- like even how you rap is more so like past tense. I've done it. You can't keep up with how I've done it. Facts. Facts. <laughs> uh, and is and it's facts. one of those uh, uh that's crazy you say it like that. It's yeah. it's one of those cause cause again. Yeah. You gotta show that. I was really listening to this stuff and some stuff was like, I'm I'm trying to catch I see I I I hear 10. 10 this, 100, 100 tabs here. And then that's all I hear from the verse. Like, he said some shit in it. I know he, he said some, some shit, shit in it. He said some like, No, no, no. He, like, you, you're, you're carving out another lane, I feel like. And do you feel like you're finding new fans or your old fans are, are, oh, are yeah, for sure. growing like, with you? I mean, some of them, yeah. And that's like, they ain't one of them. Uh, some of them for sure. You, and that's, you can grab it. Oh, uh, yeah. No, that's one of the things I'm definitely most appreciative of is like from like early on, like I've been blessed to be one of those artists that like, even though I don't do like the numbers that, you know, you know, certain like other people do, like it's I've always had like that cult fan base. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Has any uh has any fan ever impacted you anyway? Oh my god, like bro, like no, I got I could get that. That's the <laughs> way that shit to even talk. Like, no, you don't remember like, the I, first stories he told us about like the uh the, like him wanting to smack the fan and all that because oh, he knew that he phone wrote it. Like, yeah, no, nah, I mean, <laughs> no, nah, the shit with the fan shit, it get deep. Like at a certain point, like some of the like day one, day one fans almost is considered like, you know, like I put trust in them to a certain extent, but you know, I also, you know what I'm saying, went to jail behind a fan telling on me, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But they, that's, that's not considering a fan. I'm just saying to people that's like, no, genuinely you're really like, a supporter yeah. and, and wants you to see. Yeah. I definitely you do had good. some like hardcore call fans, but I wouldn't even know where to start. Like maybe we get into it. But you know what I'm saying? We were still like earlier on with the. The, the you carving out a, a new lane and, and finding. Oh, it. yeah, for sure. Like I don't even. I mean, just really ever since I got out of jail, I looked at that like as a new chapter, just period. Cause you know, I would pop out a couple of times. I just seen, you know what I'm saying? Kids are, you know, especially in like the type of, I guess, age group that's really like uh, being Moving fans up. of yeah, shit. Doing, like, spend, like buying tickets, that buying shit merch. Re, that shit refresh kind of mm, every- It's a new 18 years, year old. Like, 
No. Going to college, going to, trying to find it. So, uh huh. So, getting defi- into a, a, a new scene. So, definitely, just to keep it a hundred, it's a, it's just as many like fair weather fans of any era, like fans that did not make Bro, the cut into gotcha. the new eras because Be- they was just in that moment of they partying college life when this was what I was making. You know, the, but- there was a point in time where I mm. was would say that Little B is the best rapper of all time and I'm wearing a, a pink bandana and going hard for him. But now... I still love Little B. Exactly. Though. I can respect what yeah. he did and his new stuff, if it Little relates to me, mode. it does. If it doesn't, right. it does. But it's the respect of, no, I know what you did. I know what you did as uh-huh. a, a person in the culture affecting the culture. And how you impact the culture. And how you impact the culture and everything. So with with Bad Trip, is this, is this your label? Is this a collective? Is this... I, uh-huh. I, I know it's a page. I know it's... More than just you on the page, and I'm seeing more people on the page. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I am though, because that's why I chose to come out here though. Because, mm. and I did want to tell that story first. Because just keep coming back to the same questions. Because I'd be mm. on tangents, but one of the reasons I wanted to come on here was because like I already had like a feeling that I wanted to like update everything. Like it's been mm-hmm. a little minute since the last like interview I did for real. And then I was on the phone with my bro that's that's in jail right now and shit. He in prison and he was telling me. So I listened to his because he got a lot of times and he was, you know, part of like it's really like my like, you know what I'm saying? Like close, close. He, you know, but he always been like a not not, like, you know, tell me what I need to hear even when I don't like it sometimes. And he was telling me kind of what you just was saying too. People need to hear you talk more for real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because even if you look at the videos, it has so much character in it. They yeah. like if they just hear you too. But it could be a lot of shit of a lot of guessing and a lot of. Uh, yeah. And I like that mystery. Like I'm fans of like certain artists well, that Lord, do yeah, that. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. like yeah. But at the same you do time, have I got more, though. You like like you have it. You definitely have it. And in this generation of fanship, that they want you to be, be on stream playing GTA with them or something yeah, like that. Or yeah, they want exactly. you to, so, yeah, a lot of people close to me have been trying to push me into that direction for like a long time, but I'm just still kind of the type of person that's like, I'm so like OCD and like specific with my art that I just can't always, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I think people, flow out. I think what I present to people, like, cause I'm aesthetically curating everything at the point of what you're talking about, like the newer, back, like I'm doing the videos, the beats, you know, I'm kind of cured. Not that I don't work with other, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I said, like, believe just right, produced right, that right. project, but like, a, a f- you know, I feature heavy person, you mm. know what I'm saying? But mm. for what I curate as like the bad trip aesthetic and stuff, I can't necessarily like, I don't like just that like thin line. It's probably the only time my Instagram has been live and I couldn't even tell you maybe when I do a show or something right, like right, that. Right. I don't like to just like And sit. those uh, but but those moments count. Like like that's a moment where those like, yeah. "Oh, snap. I'm going to come listen to whatever he's talking about right now because this is the <laughs> like, that make your, right. Does that also make your work more more rare too? Yeah, I mean sh- for sure, but I'm definitely in a mentality right now that I'm trying to uh Go back to, I've always been a high output artist, but Mm -hmm. I'm trying to really in the next coming months be a very high output artist because I feel like that's just where shit is at right now. But sometimes I fight with being a perfectionist or just being like always trying to outdo my last video to where, so that's why I'm about to really make like a second channel, all type of shit. But anyway, I was on the phone with my brother. I say he just telling me that to like, you know, you need to just go do an AMA and shit. I was like, bro, Instagram be so lame with the like algorithm and how many people <laughs> can never guess who's gonna see your story on it? Like, I'm not. And he was like, no, I do an AMA on. Like, it's just a period. I don't wanna do it, pick the wrong time and not have the right people involved and shit. Like, I'd yeah. rather get I respect, an interview. I respect okay. you coming at us too because that means a lot. Again, we talked about this on the previous episodes. Y'all go check those out. But you really were one of the first ones to give us a shot yeah. at doing this rap stuff with other people. And we watched y'all early stuff. It was like, no, we want, we need to get to this level to be legit type shit. Mm-hmm. So to even have you here and, and to see how far we all have come is super dope. And I appreciate you again for coming. And it's a testament to like, oh, that groundwork that we did put in is paying off. No, it's, but then, it, it, and then just the fact that how, what, when you responded with what you said, that's what I was going to say. It just was like, God for real, cause it's like I'm on the fucking jail call with my bro and shit, and he telling me like you need blah blah, blah. and I was like you know what I think I'm gonna set up an interview. Look, I was like I think I have 
something in mind because I was just really thinking about it. And I was like, the type of interview I want at this period, like, you know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. just like, and I just figured, I, I felt like, you know, yeah, y'all are really, the, you know, they had that day one, like knowledge of what I'm doing and would do the research and ask the right questions of what I'm trying to, you know, express right now. So I hit you up just to see. And then like, you know, when you said, oh yeah, we just moved into a new uh, studio and everything. Be. So it'll be the first one at the new studio. I was like, oh yeah, that's perfect. It's I already know it's be, meant bro. to be. Yeah, it's yeah, meant to yeah, be. Exactly. That's, and, fire. And, that's fire. And 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 <clears throat> those things we can track. Come on, it's it's 213 episodes now. Yeah. But we can track these those moments. Those good vibes too. It's the vibe. It's you the moment. It's the, it's the knowing because this... You saw how long you know, I, you know you know how the bus behind the scenes with but like it's those growing pains to be like no nah, I know that this is gonna it's gonna be that look it's gonna be that different look it's gonna mm-hmm. it's gonna take it to the next level type shit um the project again uh the believe in magic the believe in magic the cover is amazing how'd you come up with oh, the name <laughs> Uh, well, because Believe produced it, and I, I dabble in a lot of magic, and we just all have, like, it's just part of, like, the whole kind of, like... I like, like that answer. Dose, <laughs> it, it's part of, like, the whole, like, kind of, like, if you know the Dose Money history and shit, right, we were right. very early on to, like, the... Uh, you know, it's it, it's always been a couple... The manifestation of, of everything. Just, you know, but we got, like, deeper into it than that. We definitely, like, started getting into the more, like... Kid spiritual, but also like our own practice of like mm. sorcery and shit like that, and like spells we would do to like wear like you guys are wizards, yeah, and like warlocks. But, but we was like very early on to like unlocking certain like powers of the universe. Damn, what my phone said, low battery. Yeah. See, I can't, they don't want me to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they trying to they trying to get you. They trying to Joe Rogan us right now. <laughs> I was saying less, but not like, but so the thing with the Believe in Magic shit is the only other two, I mean, the only, it's only three songs, but yeah, like, yeah. I was going to ask you with the, the, uh, the Believe produced the it, and then, you know, Bando, Sporty Red, and Kick on, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that's Dose Money, like, you feel me? So it's really like a Dose project, essentially, like a, a kind it's of, the energy for the of day the, one, yeah, yeah from, yeah, from the, for the day one fans, it's like, a, so, so that's a great segue. It's no, Breakup of dose money is this yeah. more of an evolution of the dose? <laughs> um, it's no, a different facts, dosage. facts. Definitely, it's a different yeah, dosage. definitely that. Like you know, like you could just look historically, like rap groups with five people, like groups, bands, like period, don't stick together where there's one singer. But like you know, with rap groups, you basically looking at it. You pray for two albums singers, at least. Like, yeah, yeah, like that's a lot of egos. Like and everybody that want to go in different directions and shit. Like, oh my bad. Thank uh, you. Appreciate you. But uh, yeah, so so th- that's great to hear. For like how you said, for the day one people, they can hear the elements of because believe again, believe is one of the best producers I've heard, and you can hear just by the like the intro first, the first three counts of it, you're like, ooh, it's, it's about to be some shit. So <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he really brought the heat on that one too, though. For sure. Again, man. the covers hard. The beats, if y'all have a chance, y'all do have a chance. Go check out Bad Trip Page, which is a great name. Is a I'm, I'm surprised you had it. I appreciate. It. I'm surprised you. Had now, it. I want to shout out the other the other Cleveland Believe projects too. He mm. made a well, he got he got a raw he got a raw ass one with a ball for L and another one coming out. I don't know if you know that one. And then Sporty Red Bando, like they just mm. dropped some shit called Loading. That should go crazy as fuck. And then big kick, my big I gotta get kick. believe on this bad boy for real. Yeah, like he gotta, no he gotta, he gotta tell his story for real. Yeah, for real. The facts, man behind nah, the board. Try, yeah, no, the, for real. He's been the man behind the camera for a while. And um, the camera, and the camera. He's one of them. He's one of them ones. And then um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my big bro, uh, kick, kick those big oh, yeah. kick. You know him and believe he just dropped his it. uh. His follow up to like he only got two like solo albums out and the first one was like mostly produced by well the first one was like me believe in Bando like all this one I think it's like believe and then like I think like like Zan like Hundred Band Zan has a couple collabs Ooh, on it but it's mostly it, Hundred Band Zan uh, yeah that's bro like the, yeah I think it's like but that's his like uh, follow up project it just just drop it's called Real is Rare Kid that's my big brother like that shit raw as fuck on some like like literally like that shit one of the hardest like just on some but people gotta catch up you know what I'm saying oh no yeah it's a 
I'm glad to see that it's possible for people to catch up now. Yeah. Like um, there's enough outlets for people to find you and be like, oh, it's a it's a nah, actual for sure, catalog. Especially when you start like documenting and keeping track of like document all this and then, real quick. And then the, the last one I want to say too, Slim Slater. Like you know oh, what I'm saying, the Believe in Slim Slater project. Yeah. That shit go. Slim Slater. That, that shit, shit go hard. As fuck too. Like that I listen to like, that shit every that day. That sound like, like some slash. Like that shit sound raw. <laughs> Slim Slater. I think an eight Slater, but slimmer. Moving forward with, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, Vaughn had a question about some young ladies on the bad trip page as well. Yeah, what's up with the what's up with the two the two chicks going in? Because uh, uh, oh, that they was hard today. Yeah, it, it just dropped. Uh, yeah, that's Nixie and Under Queen. They okay. go crazy. They go hard. Okay. Did you yeah. just did you sign them? Did you did you do a feature? <laughs> are, these, are these LA <laughs> friends? Is, you know, is, is, uh, is, is, are these just I don't, I don't know where you were really located. I don't want to tell you where whereabouts, but are, are you was, scouting now? We was in LA when we did that uh fucking uh under queen. She from Cleveland, like you okay. Know, she, got okay. Her, she got a little uh, buzz in the city for real, and then uh you know um Nixie, you know she from Cali. Like we've been rocking for like. Five, six years now, okay. for real. You know, that's like, you know what I'm saying? We do everything together. So, like, you know, that's who be shooting a lot of the videos yes. that I edit. Yeah, she, you know what I'm saying? She, okay, she's one been of the, first the girl in the video, video real like, oh, who this, who this girl in the right, video doing right. this? She, like, super, like, multi-talented. Like, she, like, you know what I'm saying? She... Uh, Amuse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying she do she like yeah she do all that like you know her singing shit raw too like you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying but she she definitely hold it down on the camera like cause you know I can't shoot my own video exactly like, you know what I'm saying and be like yeah we definitely got the teamwork a good person on though. yeah good That's person on the set sure. now with your solo projects are you because I don't want to say you're would you want to go towards the more so getting like mainstream quote unquote artist on it? Is that the is that the? Oh uh, yeah, because you know I'm a producer at the end of the day. Exactly. I ain't gonna use the word mainstream. So you be like, like a I ain't rate. gonna never, I ain't gonna never fuck with nobody that I feel like is on some corny shit. Like you feel me? But the way I produce, like anybody that I'm a fan of, like you know what I'm saying. If I'm definitely trying to always progress the level, like to where like. Okay. I could, like, be that type of, you know, like, how, like, yeah, or just even, like, just mm. other other producer rappers or just producers, like, can put together a project that... But I would say, like, a lot of times on my solo projects, I have a very, like, Kanye-like approach, just even as far as, like, the people I know, like, the homies that I made music with yeah. and shit, like, to where, since I made the beat, it's uh, not always... Emphasis on like you my having rap to, part, yeah like, having to go hard and being the best rap verse you ever did or something like that. But I just mean as far as like you like you know what I'm saying uh, everybody in, like like my GFMW series projects like GFMW one through four like they're really a lot like that like it's a psychedelic journey Bro, that's you're great. supposed to put on from like start to finish. I had that on my like like my like first i uh with with the ipad yeah. or or the, or, or wow, the, the ipod one? touch which number? Oh, bro, it's the i see the graphic it's the little <laughs> it's the little guy it's the uh oh you're talking about the gcap too. yeah oh, no, that was my first mixtape okay that a okay long time ago. okay that's okay that's the, that's the one that's i like super deep cut. like, yeah, like that's, that's a, one of the ones mm. where, where that's that first ever uh go face money wise project that cover sticks in my head for a long time that's a it's, it's one of those things where, where, where I think about. You yeah, believe Drew that shit, that little cat with the, the high cat, the pink cat. When I, yeah, when I started. Uh, oh, I do remember that. When actually. I started <laughs> experimenting with the psychedelics yeah. and everything, I started to realize what like these visuals meant. So, like, certain <laughs> things. No, for real, for real. Because, like, it, it, y- y'all were really telling a story that I and most of my friends could not relate to. And we're like, man, like I wonder what shrooms are like. I wonder what the <laughs> I wonder what, what the dose is. <laughs> right, right. So when, when I actually did experience it, I'm like, oh, they were really putting the game in the motherfucking in the music if you was listening to it for yeah, real. Like yeah, yeah, if he was really, if he was really in the mix, he was like, ah, oh, I get it. I get it definitely. Mm-hmm. Oh, good times. This is good times. So 
what is the next move for you? Are you out in the, the Cali verse and you doing the Cali thing right now? Yeah, yeah. I, I live in LA, but well, I, I don't want to put on my business. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. But yeah, what, I live at you know, yeah, yeah. Career wise, are you so you're you're West Coast bound and you're doing are you doing shows out there? Are you kicking up? Is this the I is this the, the EP too. to get it? Are you, are you trying to get signed? I didn't even ask you that. Are you even looking to get signed? Uh, for I mean, it? like, the, the Believe in Magic EP wasn't even... Like, I'm saying, like, you know, like I said, I'm a high-output artist. Like, I just had dropped, like, my rock my a rock album called Elemental with it, all threes for the E's or whatever, like, a, a, a month before that. That really, that really was, like, my... Uh, that really was, like, one of my, like proudest like artistic accomplishments okay. but like how many tracks on that like 10 oh, okay so you, oh, so you really put it in yeah you put yeah. it in that's well, why he says yeah yeah i play like every instrument on it and shit uh, but ooh, okay you know what i'm saying it's it's got like two aerial pink features nixie on there it's got some but it's a rock out like it's like all well i don't like to use that word because like Rock now, and rap okay. really the same thing here's my like, question it's a guitar driven album because i'm a guitarist and a Basis, so was it electric sunshine? Was that was that? I the, mean, no. Is that the style of it, or it, I wouldn't say in that style. Okay, like maybe some okay. of the. It's a lot more like jagged than that. I would say like, because okay. again, know, yeah, I, I'm a deep sure. cutter on you. I'm, I'm, exactly, I'm a deep, so you, know, you got to ask those questions for the people know, that really, sunshine, really know. Like that's still you could hear like the early like Go Face Money Watch rock production, but the homie that was doing the vocals back then, this for Ricky, like he had a more like. You know, like pretty voice. You know what I'm saying? Like it's I, more, I, it's I more come gritty. more. I still come more. Like yeah, me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm it's, gonna give it a shot. I ain't listened to it yet, so I'm gonna give it a shot because again, it's a. I appreciate the creativity of it, like the the bending the rules, the even just off the what way you're, you're structuring your 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 verses now, mm -hmm. where he would. Like you'll get a, a different tone or a, a ad lib, but now he's putting it in the verse where it's a, a compliment to it. It's is 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 pushing it forward, and I was like, oh, this is mature. Mm -hmm. Like, go face money wise. This is the this is the this is like, the more, this, is, this is the the one the, that can this be marketed. Is the pinky out. It, 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 if you really want to be real, it's I'm, the it's the one that can be put. And that's why, honestly, you know, a lot of times, and then people go through like individual battles and shit. Like, you know, right. me. Like, talking about myself, you know what I'm saying, as far as, like, you know, because some people would try to have you convinced that, like, rap or just whatever you want to call it, that music is, like, a young person game in the sense of, like, I mean, I'm still young, but I just mean... They try to really, age you out of it. They try to age yeah. you out of it. But really what it is, what's going on right now is it's more of the, uh, you know, the reason that would even be portrayed to people is because, like, the, you know, the, the, the labels and shit like that, that have the ability to even paint a certain picture of what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, fucking, you know what I'm saying? They prey on the young. You because know what I'm saying? The, so the naiveness of a, of a hundred grand or, or fifty grand, you, you can get them to sign anything. Well if they in the bet, you feel like they're just in the, uh, a fucked up situation and they want the money, or they are, are pushing with their career so hard that they're like, oh. So is it better for you to stay an independent? I can't speak on that because I think the right person can always take that. And if you look at like Thug, like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Early Thug was like, people would like, be like, how you in this contract, this contract, this contract, this contract. And he answered like he in the interviews, a, like, he, yeah, I always just knew I was going to take great, that. He did a great breakfast club interview. Flip it to the next, like, he you talked know about what I'm that. saying? So, yeah. yeah, I ain't speaking on it like that. I just mean like, mm. like personally, you know what I'm saying? When I got out of jail, you know what I'm saying? It was like very like initial post- SoundCloud explosion and shit mm -hmm. and just everybody was like some people even said to me man I could have that didn't know I was even in jail because they wasn't the hardest of fans but they was like I could have sworn like in that era that just everybody getting swooped up and like you know what I'm saying whatever that you would have been like that God blessed me to like kind of like miss all that it kind of preserved me to not even mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so I don't even Cause, have to, yeah because you could have got signed to some fugazi somewhere it was like it was big in the moment no I would have already been past that in that era like it's like I'm more talking about like well I mean earlier than that like dose money and all that shit we definitely was on that type of trajectory where oh, yeah. like you know and honestly like you only <laughs> get one like initial interest wow. of like your like virgin energy so to speak to not just to like labels but just like 
Period. Point shit. Blake. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna say you can always get keep getting new waves of different fans and shit, especially like an artist like me. Like I shed my skin so much that it's and just keep living and doing different shit that is I'm a, a keep, keep always keep the, I'm always keep yeah so it's always gonna be new people that you know it's, I really don't even play my music you know what I'm saying even if some of the older music has more like stats on it I don't even care about that I'm gonna play my new music to anybody that I'm showing my music for the first time and that's like, a wild thought to have too because you yeah. could because you know you got some like some shit in that Bang catalog that, like everybody like, would you just pull one out just is it off of yeah request? I show the right person you know what I'm saying if it's somebody that like I really feel like can like receive it or whatever, but I don't like to, some people try to stick you in it. Like when you have like that first initial buzz, like you got to fight against it the whole rest of your career. But so, mm. you know, it was kind of like the forces really like luckily. That's the seemed- jewel right there. You just dropped the jewel for some people that really don't know what having a buzz is for real and don't know what that type of energy brings. Yeah, like, and then it's like people always try to hold you to that, or like at this point, I'm just so solidified and unique in like what I, you know, I still like a lot more people that gotta find out about me and shit. But when they start connecting the dots to like the things that I've kind of had my energy in, like just mm-hmm. period, that's all. Like, and that's why it's all like everything eventually just out of Cleveland, eventually, the better Cleveland does, period, the more like the dots start connecting to like. The backgrounds of everything. There's some dope stuff going on. When Um, it all get going, it's going to be some dope stuff. Yeah, but... I'm going to keep one on the flex on them. I just put a dot for me. Connect Connect two, if you got it. (laughs) What what was we just just saying, though? We were talking about... Don't do that to me. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I gotta ask the Jim of, of yeah, those. Ask the Jim Dean saying. for a second And I'm mm. gonna search my mind Facts No cause that was when we really was well, You know what I'm saying I mean we had one member that was Kick was like 25 at the time And that's younger than I am right now But we was like kids You know what I'm saying For real The rest of us We was like 19 type shit When that shit was like And we ain't know what was going on. Like you know what I'm saying But we definitely that That buzz That hype was To where that interest was to we could have took it that route and definitely yeah. if we had kept, you know, to where like, yeah, it would be them type of like, you know what I'm saying? Them quick little Putting like. those extra. And, and it was, it was kind of, yeah, it was kind of like a blessing. It. And we probably would have did that shit. Like it really was a blessing Makes that it just ain't. Because you see a lot of it like now where you're looking at, I don't want to say names, but certain artists that had a, a big record, but. That could have said, oh no, you got, but you had to hit their, like their SoundCloud stuff. And SoundCloud stuff is the, the real hood, but that hit record mm-hmm. overshined everything that, that they were ever doing. It's like that. I'm, I love being able to go back and seeing y'all old shit and right. being like, this is like, it's good now, but think about it being out then and how different it was. That's, that's the thing about it that people don't realize about me. Like, you gotta like really place. My er, the early shit, the reason it even like buzz like that, you gotta place it in its era. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers yeah. was still doing like piano beats man, and like like Wiz, like Wiz Khalifa type. Like you know what I'm saying? Just when we found y'all yeah. stuff, the first video we I remember seeing, like, you had a Richard, you had a uh, Richard uh, Nixon Richard mask, Nixon mask <laughs> on. That shit is mean, memorable. <laughs> like it's really and then memorable. niggas was popping up down the street doing random shit in black and it's white. Not, I was like, all right. Bet. These it, things it, on it's videos, one those, crazy. It's crazy. It's one of those things where you you gotta respect the 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 creativity, mm-hmm. and it makes you want to do better. It makes you want to be better. And even now, where, where I'm hearing your, your bars, and I'm like, man, like you can't tell me that he not saying all he need to say in this eight bar. Instead of a 16, mm-hmm. and it's facts. <laughs> you got to really check the stats. But like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I the stats. Saying, yeah, <laughs> shit on <laughs> him. But like, yeah, no, nah, that's another thing, too, is like when you first start out, damn. I didn't realize this shit. I don't even care about the whole thing. That's cool. That's cool. You got, yeah, it, it, at least you got most of it. Uh, I want the HD. Right, right, right. (laughs) But no, like when you first start out, I would say, I think I've said this before, but like, you know, my my first like bars that I like, once I really even found myself, because originally it's just like, oh, I'm going to imitate Juicy J and Lil B. 
That's what I was listening to at the Really? Time. Okay. And Gucci. Like, I'm talking about really? when I was like 17, right, 16, right, 17 right. years old. And you can but hear I, it in the, in the way y'all your, your, your was popping shit. I did not shit. see that coming. <laughs> you, but you, you got to remember see that, 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 that actual video and, and how hard they was coming on shit. Pause. <laughs> how crazy the bars were because... They did look so young, and I don't say proper, but it was the clean haircuts. I don't think you even had oh, any. Like, yeah, I ain't gonna say on that song <laughs> specifically because that shit was just like a a topical, like you know what I'm saying. That was like a topic song, but but I just mean like my solo, like what I was doing at the time, like you know when I first first started, because I was running a studio, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. I definitely had some like. You know, names in 16, Cleveland, 17. like you know what I'm saying, like yeah. When I was like 16, 17, like I would have, you know, like like MGK came through. Like I was running out of my parents' basement, but like right. MGK used to pick me up from school and some shit. Like, but like you know, down there is like all the like I, if y'all remember, like I don't know, like Tezo, like yeah. Fats, Kimball, yeah. like you know yeah. what I'm saying, like the, the ones, the, yeah, the, those right. are the ones. You know what I'm saying? That era. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, yeah. I like Purple Monkey Circus, all that, like. Ooh. But that was that's more like that's more that's more like my family though. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I was saying, like, uh, you know, regard like that's what I'm saying, that's what I was doing. I was like 16, 17, but like I wasn't really rapping, you know what I'm saying? Like when I used to kick it with MGK and shit, like I was a producer, but it was more on like a little brother like relationship yeah, type yeah, shit. I was yeah. like 16, he was like 19, but he just like fuck with my aura type shit. But like by the time I, I saw I can see that. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Yeah. That makes I, sense. I, I, what, yeah. He definitely put me onto some game. Like say, like like I'm not, you know, I I, I don't be like I ain't even gonna speak on that topic, but I, I just say like, you know, he 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 put me onto some yeah. game at a super young age. That was the first person that ever told me that I was going, like, that I was special, mm. if that makes sense. He was That's like, dope, he was no, like you, ever, you know what that aura is that you just see on some people that they're going to be something or supposed to be something? Like, That's you know crazy. what I'm saying? And I was like 16, so I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about, but like, That's you know what I'm crazy, saying? though. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good, I mean, because you look at him yeah. now. So it's, no, obviously he can see the right aura around. No, it should be true. That might be a thing. You might need to just place the right auras as many as you can around you. Mm -hmm. That's the... No facts. Uh, but so, yeah, so I was like, you know, I was trying to like make, I was making weird ass beats and shit. And then uh, I got, uh, you know, when I started, when I first started trying to rap, it was like after hours, like after everybody else had left, like I would step to the mic and start experimenting. But I'm just saying it was a very short period of like more like imitation type shit where it's like fucking, I'm about to give up on this. Oh, uh, Ooh, yeah, I can't yeah. give up on that shit. But where I'm doing like practicing verses, oh, like you just saying shit that has nothing pertaining mm -hmm. to my actual life, whatever. But then very quickly, as soon as I started going to like raves and shit well, like that, words. like oh, yeah. you had a story that, yeah, I mean, that was like the most earliest on version of it. But like one of the first songs I feel like I like started to find my voice. It was like when I was 17. It was called like my rave song. And it, it was under a different artist name and everything, but it was like, you know, I'm rapping about like, you know, bitches grinding on me while I'm off shrooms and shit. And I was like, this more like, you know what I'm saying? I, and I had made the beat and it was a nasty ass dubstep beat, like right when dubstep was popping. Yeah, so I yeah. was just kind of like, okay, this is more like it for me, like, you know, like where I should go with this shit. But then New after studio that, problems, once you know. I really started being exposed to like psychedelic culture and that type of shit, but still like at first, that just to segue into what you just said, like at first it still was like I'm kind of channeling what I'm around and what I'm seeing, but like maybe at very first I wasn't the sheet man. I wasn't the person to just like hit up for like large volumes of psychedelics. Like I remember like when I was 18, I was selling like just like ounces of shrooms, shit like that, but I hadn't really like it's still big to me. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Houses of truth. I wouldn't even know who to sell it to. <laughs> no, I, I, no. Truth, no, no. I, mean, I, I even, got you. I couldn't even get them bitches off. <laughs> them bitches was flying, but like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. That's what I, was I know, yeah, I know the right people who could, though. I do know a couple people. Yeah. Matter of fact, if I did, I'd go to that one person. Yeah, you gotta yeah. know a person. Yeah. Push this I know a guy. I know a person. Everything always changing. Like, yeah, I ain't even going to speak on that. Right, right, but right. like when I was first really talking about all the psychedelic shit, you know, I would be like close to people that was doing it at a bigger level than me. But then that shit kind of just spiral into itself to then where you start getting this national following. So people going to approach you like, yo, let me put you on. And they just want to put you on for bragging rights. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's so then, wild dynamic. So then eventually I had kind of manifested like, you know, what I really was rapping about. And then I went to jail for it and stood on it. 
And so that's why, you know, then I got out and I really was the prince of the psychedelic underground. And then my brother who really, you know, was kind of behind the scenes of like that aspect of a lot of my career from the beginning. Like he just recently turned himself in on 16 years type Ooh. shit. So oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Dude, like that shit. Man, yeah. Dude. Free, free sack. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like, he was really like, like, I don't want to say too much, but he was right. Ohio it's, far as that shit. Like shit, not the same. But that's why I don't even be like here. Like I don't even be trying to, it's not the same energy for you. You know, I don't be trying to do too much. I got some some like speak younger out. homies. I got some like younger homies that kind of was influenced by me. And so they like feel the loyalty to me to where I could kind of like, you know, just, you know, keep shit to the bare minimum of like what, like, you know, I need for my like expansion and shit. Like, right, but right, right. You know, I don't be trying to, I mean, just period ever since I got out of jail. Like, no, no, no I be. We, we saw you right, I guess, right when, when you yeah, got out. From, yeah, you, I probably wanted, were, yeah. You were even speaking it into existence of like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm about to be on this yeah. different way. I'm more focused. I'm more ready. Yeah, you already yeah said like too. it's about the music and the like the platform mm -hmm. for sure. Like. And you spoke on it. Everything's still recording, right? Yeah. I just, yeah. It's weird not looking at the thing now. <laughs> <laughs> The um, you see the headphones, the headphones will be like, oh, right, 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 right. But what is the the top of the year, end of the year looking like for you? Where are we talking about another project towards the end of the year? Are we looking at 2022 for the the next phase of Go Face Money watching the Bad Trip crew? I want to call it like the bad trip crew. I feel I'm like sorry. the way I, <laughs> I, I want to look at it, I felt I good in the right. That made me feel like some Star know. Wars I shit. Like, like they're the bad trip crew now. I don't like really like claim nobody. It's more right. like you know people know what it is that I do, like what I represent. Like to me, it's kind of like, but I'm trying to get it even more to the point by like really like getting super active on the channel to where it's kind of like you artists me on the people like the uh the sporty red I, like he he hard to me he's yeah hard, yeah so like, for I'm sure. trying to I'm get the people more of more yourself pause i'm gonna die I'm, gonna, I'm listening to his music more <laughs> and get into like what he is but i just thought of you're you're like a gateway instructs <laughs> a new artist <laughs> on that bad trip page because you because you have such a reach where i'm i'm going to listen because yeah i don't think it's even like the page is more like putting like a label on it but I've always been that like if you yes. know the history to, of like Cleveland music like I've yeah. kind of always you been that like again you, you you gave us our first real like beat and and, and feature from my artist that well, what wasn't our like our friend so well, is, is the, does the page really has a, a plot line to it or is it really just no, it's just videos that's though. what I'm it's saying just it's just you videos. expressing yourself and just putting whatever you think is dope on there I mean it, like for it to be on that channel like I have to have either like made the beat right or made the I do all the videos too but mm -hmm. it still be times I do videos for you know I get paid to do a video or do a video yeah, for a homie yeah. that isn't really like the bad trip aesthetic like you know maybe I ain't make the beat you know I did it and I you know they put on their channel or I always tell artists too or anybody that I fuck with like that really, if they got their shit going or whatever, I'd be like, shit, like, you know, put on your channel too. But if it's a video that like is really like, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I yeah. then I always still just like upload, even if that's not what get promoted, I still upload that on the Bad Trip channel because it has such a unified aesthetic throughout. It's like the if it's, if it's, bad trip. I don't know what else to call it. It is like a no, bad I, trip. I feel like, you. Know what I'm saying? I feel you. <laughs> I think I might be out of questions, bro. I, I, I think this is... <laughs> man, that was fast as hell. Because <laughs> right. again, man, I'm I'm just... A, you're talking to a, a supporter and a fan here where I'm just... I just want to hear more of it. I, I, like, I like the... I can't even think of the, 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 the songs now, but I like the rock stuff. I listened to... There was a live performance. It was a lot of ass in it. I, I clicked it because there was a lot of ass in it. It was, <laughs> so it was, it was like six months ago type of... Video. All right, that might have been one of the first shows like back in LA, like when Corona had ended. Type yeah, shit. yeah, it was, mm -hmm. it was still masked up in that bitch. But I was like, no, the, 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 this is what I see you going towards and everything. And like, how I was saying, what's your 2022 looking like? Are you just going to go harder with the music? Are you going to kick you it? Got any up? venues popping up too? Um, any outdoor shows and indoor shows? To me, like, Oh, like I, it has to be like the right look for me. Like 
they teach you that shit early on. Like I learned that shit like real early on doing shows like that, like hometown shows. If you if you are trying to be like a bigger artist and you're looked at on like on a national platform, like you got to be selective with hometown shows. So like the only time I think I ever like wasn't selective with Cleveland shows was like when I was like in a literal band, like I was mm-hmm. doing a band called the worms or whatever. And I remember that, yeah. you know, that was like when you playing and jamming and we was doing a lot of around. live improvisation and shit. Well, it's not that, but it just was self fulfilling, self rewarding. So we had our little cult fan base that would pop out to, you know, as many shows as they could. But besides that, like, you know, the whole mentality was, it don't even matter how many people are here. Cause we're experiencing something magical on our instruments every night. So we're doing it for us. So that's like, and we're practicing, like, right. you know, if you're going to practice in a basement, you might as well practice for five, 10 people, you know, not every, sh- but that's the thing that's dope about like the band shit. You know, that's why I, like right up until I went to jail, that's what I was like funding. Like, that's what I was like doing. What I was doing to have money to, cause it's a more expensive grind. Like you got to be in a fucking van and you gotta you gotta get rentals you gotta move yeah. equipment around oh, like man, you know what i'm lot. saying it's yeah. just how does that and, affect how's that differ from now than it was then as far as trying to make the money and do it oh uh, when i got out of jail like i got out of jail broke as fuck you know what i'm saying whatever the fuck i had going on you know that's how it's supposed to be anyway to some extent like you post to spend shit like and have fun and shit but like you know once some lawyers like i i had like you know what i'm saying multiple and my shit was in like three counties, two states, like, you know what I'm saying? So whatever little shit I had saved or up, cause being a kid, like, you know what I'm saying? Looking at that shit now, like that, that, that shoebox money, like that shit, not even money in the real world. And I, I ain't claiming to have that now. Like, I'm just saying like, not, fucking, yeah, you- I really thought like, you know what I'm saying? I was taking a lot of risk in those days for you know what I'm uh, saying? No that money. that shoebox money that really like a lawyer, a snatch, especially like two lawyers, like, you know, whatever the fuck, like, you know, so by the time uh, Yeah. And my like, you know, so my Texas shit wasn't that deep, you know what I'm saying? But by the time they snatched me up in Tennessee, like that was gang unit, like they had built a whole case. It was they had an informant on me and shit. Like, so it just was like yeah, I'm going to have to sit my ass down. I'm tapped. I already was paying off the Texas shit. But, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, that shit was, you know, but, but fuck all that. I ain't trying to talk right, about it. Like, right. But no, I, I said it to say, oh, oh, that's what I was, point being, like, I was, a lot of that shit I was putting into doing the band thing because that was like a childhood dream type shit. Yeah. And I'm the type of person, anytime I come into some money or and whatever the fuck, I put it right back into the music shit. So, even, you know what I'm saying, out in Cali, like, it's, I got all the equipment and shit to, like, throw shows and to do the band thing It when the time comes. Right. But it just still be about, like, you know, making the right moves to elevate a platform. Like, when I got out of jail, I was like, I'm obviously not about to do that shit right now because, one, I need to focus on me. And, two, like, I can't even be, you know what I'm saying? Something like that, right. You know, like, and so, like, but yeah, like with the rap shows, like that's a way easier way. That's like mic and speakers. Like you could just pop up, like, yeah. you, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, Do right, whatever, right. like, and just period, like musically, like you said, like stylistically, the shit changed. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was, the way I was even being way more clear, way more like direct with the music I was making. Like I was just trying to get that point across. Like, For sure, for sure. Well, sir. I think that is it, man. The way we like to wrap up the show, we go around and say what we're reading, watching, or listening to. Okay, yeah. Is, cool. is it gives the people some homework to, to go home with. I'll start with King Ma. I know he he hasn't done this in a minute. I don't know what you watching now, bro. Oh, God. I haven't done this in a minute. I've watched shit. I watched it was called Drug Lords recently. Okay. That's very dope. I want to just hold a little Drug Lord thing too, so it's interesting that we went in on this part. Uh-huh. Also, it was called uh, the Cocaine Cowboys. Okay. Watched that too. Did the uh, behind the shit. No, it's not behind the scenes. It was, it's called something. Well, basically like what what do all the like the people in the sports was doing? Oh yeah, the, like bad sports. There you go. Bad, bad, like yeah. 
shaving points. Yeah, the, my favorite dude and was race the, boats and shit my like favorite that. dude was the was the driver. He the driver. smuggled weed over overseas. Mm. He was doing. He got like over the largest amount ever it got into into America. I was like, bruh. Really? Over like six point four hundred million. I was like, damn, that's a lot of weed that you got in. And the way I explained it, how they had the, the bottoms cut out of certain boats and shit like that. I was like, oh, he was getting it. He was getting it. He was getting and then, it. And then he spent his money on uh, race cars. Really? And it had a whole team. It was racing. He was a badass. <laughs> he was dope. I gotta watch. I gotta watch the rest of the episodes. Yeah, he liked the last. The, no, he liked the third episode. Bro. No, that remind me of. Uh, I just read the BMF book. Like. Ooh. I'm watching the show. Yeah, I'm watching okay. the show too. Yeah. Watching the show. Oh, it's a sh- what? It's like a documentary or it's like oh, actors. It's, it's Fifty Cent. Oh, Dude, word. He, like I think it. I heard about that for. Uh, and his son, and his like son, yeah. below me, is like is playing his dad. Oh so shit, like, that's turn. Fire shit. It's just fire shit. Yeah, it's pretty good job, except for some parts. I'd no, he like, get a little. Right, he bro. get a little. I don't want to. Oh, and like his like his jaw gets a little <laughs> loose. Like he's trying to act. I don't want to go. <laughs> it was like oh he. He struggled with that line probably in in the actual scene. The book was the book was crazy as fuck for sure. Like see, see, just, I didn't read the book yet. I gotta read the book. It's, it's just book. like cause you know, like obviously everybody know about yeah. that shit vaguely, but I feel like we're not the I mean, like at least I'm not the I, I mean we're all like the same. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like fucking you just of like really me. being like super like when that shit was going on, like, you know what I'm saying? Like they, Definitely my older mind like can understand like what the fuck was going on. To think in the about early them coming in and being like, you can't buy any bottles. All the bottles are bought out by BMF. <laughs> Even <laughs> you, can't, you can't get any liquor, it's gone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I mean, that's like the shit. Like, I feel like it transitioned, like uh you know, Gucci and them was kind of, even though they was associates and like, you know, or like, you know what I'm saying? Like it was like stunt. it was like Gucci, Gucci, that whole like era was on its way in kind of as that shit was on the way out but to where like you know obviously like they had that shit had all crossed paths you know what I'm saying especially with the Gucci Jeezy shit like there's a whole right. chapter about that right. in the book all that but like mm. fucking you know even that era of flexion though like I think Gucci said like in his book that's that's the other thing I, I, like I just finished the Gucci autobiography I, too I like yeah I, I read that too or and, I, 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 I listened to it Word, word. Like he talked about in there too. Honestly, like that era of like BMX flex, I mean, BMF flexing, like that was like kind of like a moment in time. That's like, that's like, hey, Ashbury, like in the fucking late 60s or something. Like you would never recreate that exactly like that ever again. Ever. Like, cause it was a moment. It was dude, a it's, it's, it's a moment. Like, them, no, them clubs not even media. there no more. There was no social media. Cameras weren't like, like the hip-hop that police even was, you know, that might have been the... You've never s- seen a... <laughs> I've never seen a team with a billboard. <laughs> I'm sorry. It makes me want to know the whole BMS it's just story. It's just random stuff like that where you're like, oh, they're doing something different over there. It's, it's some real... Yeah. Uh-huh. But it was just crazy how, like, the fucked up thing... And I don't really, like, I don't fuck with Jeezy like that. I'm not, like, a Jeezy fan. Like, you know, I always just was a Gucci fan my whole life. So I had, but I, I was, you know what I'm saying? I, I had listened his to the, Yeah, it had his moments. You know what I'm saying? But the the way, like, they described that, it almost made me kind of, like, feel like that's where Meech fucked. As much as I don't care for Jeezy, I know that he ushered in a kind of a new sound. And I feel like that was one of Meech's biggest fuck-ups was he was trying to push Blue Da Vinci so hard, who eventually ended up cooperating, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Even though everything Meech put into him. And that was a more old school sound. And meanwhile, he had Jeezy, who was like lower up under him, but still but coming up. Knew, but that he still knew of and was still bumping. Like, you know what I'm saying? They said in that book that like Trapper Die was still on everybody in BMF's playlist while they was doing right. that shit. You know what I'm mm. saying? So uh, you know, legitimately so, like, it just was, like, Meech never put the the contract on Jeezy, never made it official, never... I mean, I guess, in a sense, indirectly, he was putting the bag behind him because Jeezy was being able to do everything and, he was able to do. For, and you know? if he would have... But he, he could have legitimized... All Meech wanted to do was, like, legitimize what was go legit. Yeah. yeah. And he ain't even know he had the fucking... Had the, had the thing right in front of him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jerome Rowe. You, you should watch the show on um, Stars yeah. and see how it's been depicted because they're showing how him and his brother came up and how, like... The parents are affected because I like I'm new to all of the, the b- behind the scenes shit. So, right, right. so I'm like, oh, this is I'm in the, I'm week to week on it type type shit. Right, you know same. 
episodes. That, that was like another, five episodes. Yeah, that was, that was another thing that was interesting to me was like the relationship with like the two brothers. Like, mm-hmm. you know, the thing mm-hmm. is like, honestly, when they, when they eventually did get like uh, Terry and Meech, like Terry was, Misha didn't own nothing. Like mm-hmm. that to me was like the craziest, like existential, like thought in the world, like of how, you could be having so much dollars like passing through your but, hands. But you can't be, legally own living this life. He, but it was a good thing. But yeah, it was right, just. Right, right. But he technically didn't own anything. He had no possessions, like a Buddhist monk or something. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they technically they was about to give him bond and everything. Like mm. it was just like you know some yeah. unfortunate shit kept happening. Like people kept cooperating. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. But like his brother, who honestly his brother would always criticize Meech's lifestyle because Meech was the one doing the Atlanta parties. Blah, blah blah. His brother was off in LA more tucked. But he was owning shit. He was buying companies mm. and shit. So they had more of a trail on Paper that. trail on them. Yeah. I'm also w- watching, because I do a Sunday rotation, but I know it comes out on, on Wednesday or Thursday, Doom Patrol and Teen Titans. It's a it's an HBO. Well, it's not even Teen Titans. I'm sorry. Titans, which is like the, the grown-up adult, too, adult shit. And... I think you would like Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol is such a a is is like I don't say because you're the trip master, a trippy show. <laughs> but but it's one of those shows where it's like, oh, this is something to watch right now. This mm-hmm. is interesting, right. very interesting. No one trying to no one trying to take a shot right now. Like, Bro, oh, you don't drink. Oh damn! I gotta like, wake up. At, like, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, See, you're different. You I have know, to be like, up in the morning. Right. That's why I'm trying to end I this understand. now. <laughs> oh damn! Uh, I feel like- I appreciate you coming, sir. Oh, you are, again, a legend in my book. Legend always. And I always respect you even doing these interviews <laughs> with us. And I can um, only say this one time, I was on the track with him. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> this is a hard-ass track, though. It's a hard-ass yes, track. It and, 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 like early to SoundCloud, too. That I shit, was about to say, man. early SoundCloud era, as you spoke of. Like, shit definitely like, at least got like some thousands on it. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. And, that, and, and even in that, excuse me, I'm going to end it. Even in that moment, I didn't even see that coming. I was like, oh, this is just going to be a good look for us to have this this feature and everything. But people fucked with it. People were like, no, this shit hard. So thank you again, brother. I, I, I appreciate you. Thank you, my friend. This is Colored Radio. We're in Connect Studio or Connect Compound, Connect Power by Dope Studio, Sample Guy. Thank you, S. Dot. Thank you. you Connect. Watch, I see you. It's gonna be Connected big things happening. Color Radio. We here. I'm Juice Short. We out. Play that funky music.